Welcome to Henry M. Rowan's College of Engineering here at Rowan University. The college prides itself on being one of the highest ranked engineering schools in the region. And today, by interviewing some peers, we give you a sneak peek into the academic lives that go on within these buildings. By asking current students thought-provoking questions, we will gain a better understanding of the engineering program from the student's perspective. We are curious to see how representative Rowan is of the dominant images of engineering in the United States. To start off our interviewing process, we asked students to evaluate the textbook definition of engineering provided by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary and to compare it to their own understanding of what engineering is. Yeah, I entirely agree with that. Uh, recently, throughout my studies at Rowan, um, a lot of the projects and materials that we start out with are really simple things like boards, uh, plates of steel or aluminum, and it's all just raw materials being transferred into things that we can make usable through ingenuity and uh, design. I guess it's kind of a general definition, so I guess it you know, works for all fields of engineering. There's definitely a lot of different like aspects in each of the different engineering, but I guess that kind of you know, covers all of them. <laughs> Rowan's engineering curriculum is rather intense, but there is so much to learn here. As pertinent to this video, a class called Engineering in a Global Context is a class that exposes engineering students to engineering cultures around the world. Learning how to be a globally competent engineer is so important and eye-opening. Did you ever think about how engineering might be different in different parts of the world, and if so, how? So when you're thinking about that, you have to realize that in different parts of the world there are very different needs as compared to what we have here. So there are different challenges that people need to rise up to meet. They need to be innovative in different ways to solve different problems and cope with different solutions. Different parts of the world, they have different standards and codes that they need to abide by for engineering. So like building codes or other types of standards might be different. So engineers are going to have to take that into consideration might be different in different parts of the world. Honestly, I've never really thought about that. Although most of them had never thought about it before, most students noted that engineering around the world is different. There are many different ways of teaching and learning. For example, Rowan's curriculum focuses on many hands-on projects. However, in other countries and demographics, there are different problems with different constraints that require engineers to develop creative solutions. Not all areas of the world are the same, and being a global engineer is being competent, respectful, and knowledgeable of other engineering cultures. Different skills and mindsets definitely depend on the location and task. From our Engineering in a Global Context class, we learned about some cultural dominant images of American engineers. Americans are innovative and individualistic. We asked our interviewees what stereotypes they had about engineering before coming to college. So before I came to Rowan, I thought that engineers were all super awkward, the horrible stereotype of engineers, so much so that I didn't even want to join the engineering learning community. But I did join it, and it turned out being an awesome experience, so uh, that stereotype didn't hold true at all. All different kinds of people are engineers, and uh, we still have a lot of fun. There's one of two stereotypes, really. You either think of like somebody that's like, really geeky, um, doesn't have great social skills, or you just think of people standing around in hard hats. But when I got to Rowan, I realized that there's a lot of different types of people in the engineering program, and there's a lot of really amazing people to spend your time with. One of the biggest stereotypes that I had assumed was there's going to be so much work that's not necessarily enjoyable, per se, and there's not going to be much time for you to let yourself shine through in your own work and that's been shown false beyond anything I could have imagined not only within the College of Engineering itself but being able to apply what I'm learning here outside of the college to such a high degree I did not expect that. Engineers lacking in communication skills seem to be a common thread however stereotypes often stem from recurring facts Rowan's unique curriculum attempts to combat that by mandating public speaking classes across all majors. This helps students, and especially engineers, develop soft skills in presenting and communicating ideas. We note that American engineers are independent and driven workers. However, many of our professors push us to do so. We ask students to describe their favorite professors and what makes them stand out. I'd say that my favorite professor in Rowan Engineering has to be someone who is personable. 
enjoy how approachable they are. I really like them because they really care about the students and they always go out of their way to help us. He not only is excited about the material, but he gets his students excited about the material. Um, and that's what really makes it fun to learn. Without a doubt, Rowan's engineering professors are passionate about their work. Through engagement with students, they are always willing to help. Now that we've seen current students' curriculum and lifestyles, I feel it time to answer the most obvious question. Why did these students decide to pursue an engineering career in the first place? So the reason that I decided to go into engineering is because I wanted to get involved with helping the environment and I really want to improve the environment because humans in general are degrading it. The easiest one I can think of is obviously just the way to help people. As a civil engineer, your work can impact thousands of people um, at an instance, which I think is really cool. I also like the idea of using science and math to solve problems. And once I heard when I was younger that you could not only do both of those things, but also make a bunch of money from it too, I figured it was an easy choice uh, of a career path for me. Realistically, engineering wasn't my first choice. Um, I wanted to be a math education major, so I wanted to be a math teacher. But uh, my parents pressured me into choosing a different major uh, that earned more money. So I was thinking about that uh, one day. I was driving down the main street in my town, and I hit every single red light. And I was getting, I was frustrated already that I had changed majors. And I was getting frustrated at the red lights, so I decided I'm going to be an engineer so I can fix all these red lights so I'm not stuck in traffic all the time. Some of the interviewees noted external pressures, while others noted a self-drive. American engineers earn a nice salary, and a dominant image of an American engineer is one with a low political profile. Engineering in the United States stemmed from a need for military advancement in the early 19th century. The first engineering curriculum was taught in military academies, but has since grown from that. Today, in the United States, we use a more practical and hands-on approach to teaching engineering. Here are what these students thought their engineering education would be like before coming to Rowan. So I was kind of lucky in high school because I got a good amount of technical courses beforehand in regards to some drawing skills and using different programs like AutoCAD. So I thought at first that would be the very first thing people learned how to do and that wasn't necessarily the case. Most of it was kind of learning about basic calculations and such and also the morals and ethics of engineering. Honestly, I thought we would start more hands-on and just keep it throughout, but we seem to start more research-sided. From what I've experienced so far, we start off learning a lot of the basics with programs and writing reports, so I found that it builds up a lot more towards using the different equipment rather than going in hands-on. We are definitely glad these students chose Rowan, where the engineering education is reflective of its high-ranking program. Thanks for joining us on our adventure around the College of Engineering. Although we stay close to home, who knows where these future engineers will end up. Rowan has prepared them to work on interdisciplinary teams with engineers from ranging cultural backgrounds. Their diploma is only the start of their journey.